for tuning in and so welcome back to the channel and here we are today and what we're doing today is we're actually trying the num top five top five bubble tea spots in Queens in Flushing um, in New York City if anyone who's not familiar with that and apparently it's the trend nowadays and I wanted to really personally try and give and rate these bubble tea from my experience and not just from you know like the top places like uh, Yelp there is um, other I guess like Foursquare and Eater so I picked I actually picked Yelp and decide that the top 10 well, I picked top five because, you know, we all can't afford that. Um, so, yeah, we picked top five and I went in flushing all around, literally, and <laughs> for the past hour and just basically picked up all bubble tea, just bubble milk tea and um, see whether or not if they live to up to their standard. Number five is tiger sugar. So I'm going to show you tiger sugar. So this is the tiger sugar um, bubble milk tea actually. This is how it looks like. I mean, I, I got it for a while already and the brown sugar kind of like dissolved. So the packaging is actually looks like this. So I'm gonna try this and see how it tastes and, and give my review on it. Here we go. Is actually really good. This is my actual first time trying um, brown sugar boba, and I have to say it's pretty damn good. Sweet. It, it, so when you get this drink, you're you don't get to choose the sweetness and um, sugar level, ice level. Well, I think ice level you can, but not sugar level because I tried asking. So it's their signature drink, and um, it's already set. Number four. Uh, this place called Sha Sha Cha. Um, it just opened, I think, not too long ago. Oh, I also ordered a um, bubble milk tea. This is the way it looks. Um, this was actually the first stop I stopped at, and um, the place is really nice. Uh, inside the interior, it's like really pretty, and they made it so inviting and bright that I mean I don't I can't I can't think of anyone who does not want to like stay there but I guess it's the hype they say so yeah so the packaging looks like this it's like a round plastic cup and then they have a removable lid which uh, back then if you guys are actually boba drinkers you'll know that it used to be just a plastic cup and then they will have to kind of laminate another plastic over and you just pop in the straw but this one they actually have a removable lid like a coffee cup so that's kind of interesting and on the top part it actually has a sipping side and another side is actually for the uh, straw to insert for like boba if you're having boba so i'm gonna give this a try and see yeah so another good thing is that now some boba places actually try to be more green and um, sustainable and they're using like eco-friendly um, materials so i always always like would you know support that and when they do that i think it's like extra points for me give this the try so i'm gonna use the straw and put in uh there's a section where you can actually put in the straw uh straw so i actually don't know how to put this. Oh. oh there you go here we go just regular and i got the zero percent sugar and i wanted to test the tea flavor and the milk whether or not it's good. Here we go. It's pretty good. The tea is there. You know, it's funny because it almost tastes like the Hong Kong um, milk tea. It has a really, really strong that black tea and a little, I, I don't know how to explain, but anyone who actually tried Hong Kong 
um, iced tea, they'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is actually really good. So far, I, ho I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I just thought like, since I never had any of these bubble tea, it would be a good idea to share this with you guys. And it's all new and it's crazy because the amount of bubble tea is in almost every corner of the streets. And so here, now we have number three. So the third one is called MT. Um, it's also new. This was actually the place that it was amazing. Actually, it's when I walked in, it was so bright and it was actually pink and there was like bubble tea cups all around the walls and then when you it's very spacious as well like when you walked in um you could go to the back and then basically it was a bunch of like uh, seating areas and then they kind of like basically pretty the place so yeah besides pretty interior the bubble tea has to be good too so let's try that and see and so yeah so it's the same concept here um it's round <laughs> round shaped and same thing the um they have a section for the sipping i think this is for like hot drinks i'm, I'm assuming and then whenever i guess with hot or cold um when you have boba they have a little insert that you could put for the straw so yeah let's give this a try eco-friendly and they use paper straw so i definitely support that all right, let's give it a try. All right. Mm. It's a little milkier, but it still has that black tea flavor. Mm. As for the boba, it's not as good as the last one, which is the um, cha. What was it? The sa cha. Like. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, the place might look nice, but the tea or the boba, the boba, I don't, I'll give it a three, um, but I'm not a fan of the boba, but the tea is okay. Now we did three so far, um, I would say Tiger Sugar, I was gonna give it an eight out of ten, and the sacha that's the second one we tried i would actually give that a seven out of ten and just now we had the mt i yeah i would give it a three because the boba wasn't as chewy as i would like it to be as well as the tea it wasn't as uh how can i put it like it's not as tea flavor <laughs> Like that black tea that you're asking for, that strong black tea. So yeah, let's move on to the fourth one. So the fourth one we got was Yan Yan Tea. Uh, this is also new. And so the interior, it's really like basic. Uh, when you walked in, you pretty much have, uh, you know, the counter and then you or you order your drink and in the back there's this little small seating area. But aside from that, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it wasn't much going on and they, they were quite busy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try. So in the first glance when I saw this, this was way milkier than the others that um, we've tried so far. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually, personally, I like more tea flavor, um, bubble milk tea, but I know some people enjoy having the milk, but I'm more of like, I like a strong tea or black tea flavor. I'm a, you know, when I get bubble milk tea. So I'll give this a try and see how it goes. I mean, I could be all wrong. This could just be the color and it could taste like amazing. So, okay. However, the bubble, I'm actually impressed, is much better than the last one we had. It's very chewy. It has um, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, and it works well, I guess, because it's really milky and you have that little sweetness that kind of covers up when you have um, that sip. But I really enjoy the bubble. It's entertainment for you guys. All right, now, the last but not least, 
that we've all been waiting for, which is t- number one as of today, uh, November of 2019 on Yelp, is actually Chun 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 Yang T. Um, this is also new, but not as new as the other ones. Apparently, this is rated number one as of today. So, the place was really nice. It has that like um, traditional uh, style, and I think and I think a lot of people do appreciate the tea. Aside from you know having it as the trendy bubble milk tea nowadays, so I wanted to give it a try and see what or not because again, I said I like milk i like the tea that's in the bubble milk tea so so let's give it a try and see i also want to add that when i was here at this chun yang um tea spot they were actually very nice when i was about to pick up this tea they actually said to enjoy like they're they're very they had really good manners and they basically um explain how to drink it and which was nice so i wanted to just throw that in as well um so yeah this is how it looks like um it looks like it's a lot of bubbles and it looks tiny so i want to give this a try and see so this is your typical bubble milk tea uh packaging so it's like a plastic and a layer of the laminated plastic as well so you just basically put the straw through and drink it um, I'm gonna shake it since I have that option <laughs> versus those I couldn't but it was fine too because I could actually use the straw but yeah here we go I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10 the reason why is I actually like that the bubbles are actually tinier <laughs> I know some people do like it uh, bigger because they like to chew on that bubble while they're having the tea but um as for me like i don't mind i don't mind either like the larger size or the small size but however this is like bite size is really really i don't know it feels more enjoyable in my opinion and you know what i can give it an eight it's actually pretty good yeah i'll give it an eight it's pretty good there you have it guys that is my segment on top five bubble tea places um, in Flushing, uh, Queens. And I hope you enjoy this little segment. And just let me know what you guys want to watch or what you guys enjoy. Or let me know what, where I, I should go for more bubble tea or any idea of what I should... Um, I should post for you guys yeah just drop it in comments below or you can find me on um, instagram which is i'll link it below right here and yeah just let me know but thanks for watching the video and um if you do like it please give it a like and let me know and really appreciate you coming by and watching this and i hope i can provide more videos for you and your enjoyment so yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you